Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, we learned indirect set analysis using element functions P and E. In today's video, we will continue the same topic. I'm going to use the same application. In a previous video, we learned how to find out number of customers who purchase specific product. We use product equal to laptop. So how many customers purchase laptop? How many customers did not purchase laptop? How to get those customers name? How to get sales of those customers, current year sales, previous year sales and total sales. Now in today's video, we will continue the same topic. But today we will learn how to use set identifier while we are using element functions P and E. So first of all, I will use here P and it will give me three customers who purchase laptop. And here also I will use P. So I will get those three customers name A, B and C. Here I will get sales of total sales of those three customers. And this two will give me current year sales and previous year sales. So first thing is I am selecting now year 2020. So now you can see as soon as I have selected year 2020, we are getting different result compared to what we were achieving before our selection. So what exactly happened here? The first count giving me only two customers. So from the second pure table, you can see that laptop is only purchased by B and C customer. Now A is not part of this selection. Why? If we remove the selection, so you can see in 2020 year, A hasn't purchased laptop. So again, I will select 2020. So I'm getting two here. That means this set expression where we have used customer equal to P customer with product equal to laptop is reflecting based on the selections. The only selection it will ignore is the product. Even though if we select customer, this entire expression will consider our selections. But product equal to laptop is what we have fixed. Means whatever selection we made for product filter, it's not going to affect the entire result. But even though customer is used inside set modifier, if we select customer with possible or excluded function P and E element function, it will still going to affect your end result. So let's see. Now we can have three possible selections here, either product or customer or year. First we'll select product. As soon as I'm selecting product mobile, nothing is going to change here because product is already defined inside inner set expression. But if I will select D, we are getting zero here because customer in set modifier is having possible customer, is having element functions. So element function is not fixing customer. It is still working based on your selections. Let's move to the second one. Here we are finding out customer name by concatenating the same set expression. Here we are using concatenate of distinct customer. So here if I will select customer D, I will get nothing here. But customer C and D, I am getting C because C has purchased laptop. If I will select customer A and B, I am getting two here. And now if I will select 20, 20, I am getting only one here. That means if you see laptop here, then only in 2020, only one customer BBB has purchased this laptop. So here we are getting one. Here we are getting BBB. So here we are getting 158 as current year sales or total sales. Why total sales? We have selected only one year. So we are not getting sales of all the years. We are only getting sales of selected year. 
here we are getting the same thing because we have selected only one year so that year is the maximum year for me and here previous year is 122 so hope uh, you understand that how these selections are affecting our set expression but sometimes our requirement is irrespective of selections we want to find out customers we purchase product so in that case for the inner set expression we have to use one as a set identifier so once i use one as a set identifier everywhere in my set expression with element function this selection will not going to affect we will see what is going to happen now so now when i select year 2020 i am still getting three here i am still getting a b and c even though in 2020 only b and c purchase laptop now we will move to the total sales how we are getting total sales 384 here so the total sales of a b and c should be 384 for year 2020 because 2020 year selection is still there so the sales of a b and c for year 2020 let's see a b and c the total sales of a b and c is 384 the same way because we have already selected year we are still getting 384 year and what is the sales of a b and c for the previous year so we have selected 2020 so 2019 sales should be 277 so as soon as i will select 2019 here we are getting 277 here so if your requirement is that you want to find out customer irrespective of selections then you have to use one as a set identifier inside your inner set expression where you have used set element p and e but even though you have used one as a set identifier inside the inner set expression the outside set expression so what is your outside set expression this this set expression is still responding based on the selection let's see how so if i will select mobile here you are still getting three here because product is already fixed inside so product filter is not going to affect even though you write one here or not we are still getting a b and c for the product laptop but why we are getting 164 here we have selected mobile here so what exactly we are getting here is this expression will first find out customers so we are getting customers a b and c so we are getting customer a b and c and then we have selected mobile so the sales of mobile is for these three customers are 164 let's let's see it again we have selected mobile here and we are getting 164 here so what exactly happening here is if you go to this expression and if you check here this set expression is finding customers who have purchased laptop irrespective of selections because you have used one here so it will freeze all your selections so due to this we are getting a b and c so here this expression you will give me indirectly like this customer equal to so this is what this expression will give you so sum of sales for customer a b and c but because we have selected now mobile so this whole expression will give you sales of these three customer for mobile so for mobile sales of these three customer a b and c is 164 so the current year sales is 73 current year means maximum year sales is 73 and what about previous year which is 2021 we don't have any sales you can see we don't have sales for 2021 
but say your requirement is you want to find out total sales of all the customers who purchase laptop irrespective of any selections i say any selections then in that case you have used one as a set identifier for inner set expression the same way you have to use one here as well so when you once you use one for both the set inner and outer set identifier any selections you will do you are still going to get 1611 as your final answer hope you understand that how we can use element function p and e how we can use set identifier for outer and inner set expression in the next video we will see another example with a combination of p and e both till then thanks and have a great day